Hey, stop messing with the light. <laughs> it was like pointing up. I don't know if it was actually messing with the light, but it was flickering. So that had me suspicious. Alright, life support. What do we got in here? We got the power plant, water treatment facility, atmosphere control, and an exit to the lobby area. Let's get some sneak damage. Sneak attack for 200% damage. Unfortunately, we were too far to super capitalize on it, but we'll take it. I'm just gonna need to keep on making shotguns. Or shotgun shells. <laughs> I'm gonna throw my shotguns at you as a form of attack. What if Alex Yu is conspiring with the more intelligent parts of the Typhon? Like, what if there's a legitimate talking Typhon? And Alex has been hiding that from us. Mm. Would be intriguing. Holy shit, what the fuck happened here? Was there a thermal tight or a titan? A thermal typhon? The hell? Do not share with Weber. 6113. Is that the code for the safe? Hey, are you there? Chief? Yes? Is there something wrong? I wanted to speak to you about the most recent VIP visit. Leitner, the pianist. Chief? If there were any problems, I checked the schedule, the roster. I did my best to make sure Igwe wasn't too... Igwe. Chief, I even had Leitner's cigarettes waiting. You did an excellent job. In fact, Leitner praised you specifically. There'll be a bonus for you in your next pay cycle. Take Nicole out for a nice dinner, all right? Yes, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Aw. She's a nice lady. Okay, that wasn't what we were looking for, though. Talk to me. We've had enemy contact. But the enemy, they should have held position in the cargo bay. I couldn't, Chief. I couldn't let those people... Can you get to the escape pods? Negative. The escape pods are malfunctioning. It's like they're locked in place. Only four of us made it to life's of Five. I'm picking up Remmer behind you. Negative. Remmer... Remmer isn't Remmer, Chief. These things... Chief, the main lift, it isn't working. We're locked out. Oh my god. Remmer. Remmer's here. Stay away. Teague. Stay away. Teague. Did we kill Weber? Oh. Oh. Wait. Nope, that's not what I thought was gonna happen. I thought their head was gone. Uh, to whoever finds this, stash in the hall by the escape pods. No time to rig a drop. Good luck. Oh. Stash in the hall by the escape pods. In this area? Or in the actual escape pods in the shuttle bay? I don't know. Well, I either found it, or we're gonna forget about it for later on. <laughs> Who knows? Where does this go? Oh. What is this? Psychoactive particle injector. You wanted to speak to me? Yes, I'd like to arrange a time to oversee installation of a special particle injector in the water treatment facility. Hang on, you want me to do what now? I've already confirmed the inlet and outlet fittings are to spec. And just what precisely is this thing supposed to inject into our water supply? I'm not at liberty to say. Uh-huh. Well then, we have a problem, Tobias. <laughs> Dr. Kelstrup has already seen and approved it. I'm gonna need to see a signature from Alex or Morgan or something like that. But, so, until I see ink on a dotted line, you'll just have to keep showing your special injector to Dr. Kelstrup. <laughs> Psychic water. <gasps> oh! This seems like a bad idea and a great idea at the same time. I guess if we inject the water into the water treatment facility, anytime I use a fountain, I'll get health back or uh, get psychic power back. Risky, but possibly worth it. Hmm. All right. Don't have a key card for the security office, but that's okay. I can transform myself into many, many things. Give me this cup. 
<laughs> Where there's will, there's a way! Inspecting. Your suit's leaking. I'll manage that for you. Alright, 6113. What do we got? Silence right pistol here. plan. Two newer mods and shotgun shells. Fuck yeah. Awesome. Is this a security armory room? Um, uh, kind of. It is a security room, but we didn't get anything super cool out of it. Moving. Ooh, wait, no, we already read day three. I want a day four. I want to find out more. All right, what do we got going on here? Uh, Weber, I know I, th I know you think I screwed you over, but I'm just doing my job. What am I supposed to do? You tell me you're having nightmares and feel compelled to hide out, well that's fine. But when you say you want to find a bunker, stock it with supplies, and get your hands on a shotgun? Not cool. We were getting along so well, but I guess we have to be all business from now on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Weber? Wait, so are there two Webers? Oh, hey. Missing engineer. Life support engineer Jean Farr's no last known position was to repair life support. Related machinery and power supply, or the power plant. In addition, she was the one remaining... She has the one remaining key card to air filtration control. Oh. Need to find her. Officer Weber, I'm aware that you've made repeated attempts to requisition a shotgun, a weapon that is clearly outside your duty description. That you didn't come to me with this first is unfortunate. You've been a dedicated officer, so I'm not jumping to any conclusions, but as a precaution, your access to the safe and the life support security station has been revoked until we sort this out. I've been there, Alton. This job can be stressful. I won't turn my back on you, but I have to follow procedures. I'll contact you shortly to set up a meeting. So this is Weber's station. And they, uh, they scolded him for the shit that he was trying to do. I'm trying to get a shotgun. So this, is, so this is... So this is Weber. Okay, Alton seems like a dude name, so that had me, I was like, are there two Webers? Was she super pissed or was she possessed? We actually haven't ran into possessed people with weapons. So I'm not sure how that goes. No. <laughs> no. Hack that shit immediately. The static burst actually kind of slightly helps. It like completely shows your momentum a little bit sometimes. It sucks if you keep on bouncing into it, but we're fine. Look at it staring at me like it's the fucking lamp from a Pixar movie. It's gonna shoot me. We gotta watch out for that. Okay. We're gonna put a turret down here. Cover this main area. Okay. Well, you know, we didn't... Deploying. <laughs> we need to do a couple of things. I need to go back to that security panel. If I'm going to find some of the crew, I need to mark the location. Okay. Also, how many people from the cargo bay are alive? We didn't check that out. What do we got here? Uh, life support. We've actually found a pretty sizable chunk of the life support people already. And anybody who was alive from life support is currently safe. Nice. So who was I supposed to be looking for here? Uh, objective? Missing engineer. Locate Jean Faré. Jean, 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 Jean. Jean would probably be down here, yep. There. Well, Jean, whenever I go into the power plant, which might be now, we can help you out. Oh. <laughs> there was a cystoid nest in there. I didn't expect that. Well, it's still alive. Stop that. I think we might be good. I think they might have blown themselves up now. Shoo! Everything get out of my way! There. Ah! <laughs> well, that managed to trigger the trap. Man, William has been fucking busy. I'm assuming he made all of these traps because they didn't exist until 
until we open the way out. The kitchen. Diagnosing bruising, abrasions, fatigue. This guy's ruining all my fun in this place. Please hold still. This will only take a moment. Good as new. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. The worst part is that not only is it a surprise, but it doesn't even help me. It's a recycler charge. It's supposed to recycle things around it for free. You know that would be that'd be cool. Wait, it isn't doing that at all. Ugh. All right, so I guess this is supposed to be a way over the area. Ooh. Uh, it's a big place. How am I supposed to calmly go down? Well, you have the glide function, obviously. Well, we'll just go down the grav lift the normal way. Although, am I missing anything else? Like, what's over here towards atmospheric control? Is there a fabricator back there? Uh, let's see. Need me a recycler, 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 recycler. Recycler is gonna be down in basement level two. Okay. No fabricators. Oh, wait, nope, there's a fabricator over here. Cool, all right, no. We'll be fine then. We're heading down. Still haven't seen anything from the fear Psychoscope mod, but that's mostly because we aren't really killing phantoms like right next to each other. <laughs> I'm glad we haven't been running into like a ton of these turrets like fully active. They just someone on the devs team was a really nice person. Alright. And they just decided... You know how we make it so the player gets shot by turrets? We're not gonna make that a permanent thing. Are you having fun? Oh my god, I almost one-shotted him! <laughs> But yeah, every Elmo, like, we've only been shot at by turrets once, in terms of, like, them already being repaired and in the way. Everything else has been, like, oh, I accidentally activated the turret and it shot me for a brief second. Otherwise, things have been pretty fine. And with hacking, too, it's easy to, give, uh, to fix things up. Kirk I think I think I know what happened in terms of uh, the dad the transcribe thing audio log Remmer isn't Remmer okay they said Remmer and for and when I saw Weber I was like that's the person what happened there no this is Remmer <laughs> this, this is the phantom that we need to kill. <laughs> he just gets knocked to the ground. Ah, oh, this was a surprise. Controls aren't responding. Did you follow all the steps on the launch card exactly? Yeah, the klaxon even sounded, but the hatch won't close. We can't separate. Hang on. I'm looking at the schematics. There should be a remote sensor on the explosive bolts. Alika, please, hurry. I see all the leads, but wait. This can't be right. Can you launch us from there? Can you at least close the goddamn hatch? Uh... No, I don't think so. Is there a manual crank of some sort? Remmer. Remmer, do you copy? Oh boy. We, uh... 
It definitely is a questionable thing when we freed the guy who hij or hijacked all this stuff. I don't know if we found the direct thing that explains what happened. That the med kit was a lie. What a dick! Ooh, you have a chance to cast a side power for free. That sounds awesome. I don't know if we're gonna we can fully take that. There we go. We have some slots for ourselves. The problem with that is I don't know what the percentage is. Is it a 50% chance? 75% chance? 20% chance? If it's a 20% chance, uh, it's not really worth it for me. I don't really cast anything super big yet. Have you seen Price? <sighs> what? He didn't show up for a shift again. He's not answering his transcribe. I even asked Abigail to check his cabin before she came in. HR is going to ship his ass home for sure this time. He was already on thin ice. Thought he was doing good. With the Naltrek zone? Seeing Dr. Cole? I'll call security and have them track him down. Hopefully, he's okay. <laughs> More lost people. Okay, well... Do I have... Uh, I need to... I need to do something. We have a few spare pistols. We can dismantle them for extra room. How much does the key take up? We have one. We have four story items that I don't know what to do with. I think the water regulator could probably be dropped. We don't really fully need that. Because we already used it in the kitchen, and I can't imagine there being another thing that requires it. But why would they give us two then? That's so bizarre. Scanning target error. Insufficient right. Typhon material found. Standing down. The lady said that there's a stash. Aha! Somewhere near the life pods. Ooh. I'm a fan of this. Hold on. I have to dismantle the Q-beam. Whoops. All right. <laughs> We're getting tons of ammo from the world as well. It's nice. I mean, I use a ton of it, like every major fight, but we have 55 right now. That's pretty damn good. Okay, fabricator is going to be... Or the recycler is going to be way off to the left over here. We need that. We need that desperately. Don't you worry, friend. We can deal with you. Did I ever upgrade this? I think I did, right? At least once? No. Getting the, uh, the damage up on this would be a solid idea. Okay, range would be good as well. Increases shots between reloads. That'd be solid. I just want a lot of damage. <laughs> I just want to... Either completely outright kill the enemy, or stun him for a very long time. Alright, so now I can stun him from like, way back here. <laughs> I don't know why they're deactivated, or why they're just kind of like laying on the ground. We caught them in their little sleeping moment. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, there's another one. I'll deal with you in a second. I was trying to, I was looking up. Because I saw there might be a maintenance tunnel nearby. Well, at least we can confirm they don't have much more health than 183. Or rather, I guess the proper statement would be they definitely don't have more health than 183 because it instant kills them. Which is great. Uh, 
Is this the place I want to be? Yeah, yeah it is. If I head down, I will have access to a recycler. But we need to turn the power back on. Or is it already on? Hmm. I see a dead guy. Oh, and a phantom. Ugh. I wonder if a thermal attack can also get the benefit of a uh, of a sneak attack bonus. All right. Try to navigate up here while we have the element of surprise. I don't know if there's more than this guy. I guess he's the one that's causing all the electricity sparking. Yep, don't have range on that shit. You see nothing. Obviously, this isn't gonna do much damage. There's a corrupted operator around here. Anyways, this stun gun's not gonna do any damage to the Voltaic guy. Yeah, that did nothing. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 friend, 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 listen. Let's talk this out. Don't you want to work for me? <laughs> Unfortunately, he's only on my side for a temporary amount of time. So we are going to need to kill him. Okay, where the hell is that recycler? Yeah? Power's offline though. What do we need to do with that? Hey! Alright. Well, we just found out that uh, we pretty much can one-shot these guys no matter what. So, that, that has me pretty happy. I didn't actually need to do that. <laughs> that was muscle memory and instinct. I saw electrical thing, mine said, I should do something about that. And here we are. Okay. Turning this entire place back on might cause some enemies to attack us, so I actually think this turret might do something today. It can do something for once in its life, rather than just be dead. That's more of a chance. Hopefully the enemies come in from this direction. Ready to scan. Okay. The supervisor authorizing this request certifies that all safety factors have been considered and are satisfactory. Department requesting psychotronics. Request prepared by T Dr. Tobias Frost. Area of work. Life support water treatment facility. Work to be done. Installment of psychoactive particle injector. Henceforth PPI. I would like to get your approval to connect the PPI to the station water supply. In essence, the PPI will alter the composition of drinking water by one part per million by mixing exotic particles at regular intervals. Imbibing the water should positively impact psychoactive potential. Approved by Dr. Hans Kelstrip. Requires director signature? No. So there is no director signature. <laughs> yeah. Nice try, buddy. Okay, that's not so bad. I thought we were gonna, like, have a ton of fucking noise pop up, but we're actually... Things are pretty tame here. Alright. Let's recycle. Holy shit, let's recycle. Alright. Even these recycling charges, I just haven't been using them. You know, fuck them. We don't need the the full stacks. Although the MP now yeah, we have electrostatic bursts. My Typhon powers make up for human technology. Suit repair kits. I'm just gonna scrap them for the sake of it. <laughs> we have four stacks, and that's irritating. Uh, anything else I could get rid of? Obviously, the fuck ton of food. Okay, 
Now my inventory has a lot more room. Let's go through with this. But yeah, happy to find out that my stun gun can one-shot enemies now. Or one-shot the operators. Oh, you're not what I thought you were. Oh, that's what happened last time. All right. I accidentally changed my wrench back to 7 again. So what happened was I somehow managed to accidentally press 7 while trying to scroll around through my wheel and that assigns things to different numbers. Whoops. Okay, let's go back to looting people's bodies. Ooh, another shotgun critical. Shotgun critical! I don't think I can do anything with it, though. What do we have? I could get rid of the... Detection thing? We'll get rid of the, deter the, the scan time. It's not really something I care too much about now. Okay, I cannot have two shotgun criticals equipped at the same time. Man! Fine, we'll go for the 0 0.1. Pistol critical would also be pretty good. That's something that I think would probably do an incredible level of damage. Uh, just because of the fact that... We are gonna get rid of this. There's a chance. It's not a, it's not a guarantee. It's a chance, and that's pointless. There. We fire so many bullets with the pistol that, uh... You're probably gonna be hitting criticals with it a lot. <laughs> it's like building a crit character in uh, an MMO. If you have tons of attacks to spam, you're gonna be hitting your crits almost constantly anyways. At least if you get good crit bonuses. Crit chance bonuses, rather. Oh. There's a second or third Voltaic Phantom above us. Ugh. Investigate Horden Baffles map. What? What? Um... Hold on. Did we just get that because of... Because of this area? Hold on. Hold, hold the fuck up. Data. Notes. Treasure map for Melindra. Treasure map for Rosalind Swift. Treasure map for Stabfellow. Treasure map for Horton Baffle. Oh. I see. So, we're gonna mark this down. Um, three. Three is, is, is what we're looking for when it comes down to the prey information. Uh, treasure map. One of the numbers is three. We'll, we'll actually mark it down. Horden, three. That way, if there's supposed to be an order to them because of their names of the characters, that's what we're going for. So, what are the other maps like? We, we know... We know Stabfellows, I think is... Yeah, this looks like the bar. So, we have to go in there and look at a number. And this time, now we know it's a number. It's for... We're looking for a number. We're not looking for treasure because of these. I thought that's what we were doing. What about this one? Rosalind... Don't remember what that one is. Melindra. Don't know what that is. ELB. L1. I don't know what the fuck those are. <laughs> We're gonna have to go on a treasure hunt eventually. But I think we dealt with most of the enemies. Somewhere. Actually... Do we even have an objective here? You know, besides the poison the water supply with, with psychic power? Would that be a moral choice? Because morally, that's probably a bad idea. Because obviously, that's kind of injecting everybody who drinks water for in, in this place with psychic powers. See Price Broadway for access. Ugh. Delivery schedule. Uh, Chef Mitchell expects these things on time or it throws off his menu for the whole week. Half get packed whole, half get uh, butchered for jelly. Oh, this is where they grow the eels. That's funny. So I guess there are just going to be a bunch of them alive in here? Oh. <laughs> Psychic powers for everyone! Haha. <laughs> oh! 
that's what's been going on. Oh, eel scraps aren't food. I just kind of thought that they were the jellied eels because I saw the word eel and that that that's on me. That's how come I haven't been like, where the fuck? Oh, we just picked up a ton of eel. Why can't I eat them? Because they I recycled them and they're not an edible item. Okay, we're actually kind of starting to- no wait, no, never mind. I- I- hey, I saw something else, never mind. So, when I pressed three, it looked like we were down to 300 shots with, uh, my stun gun. But it's actually just because the one blends in with the dark hilt of the gun. <laughs> they don't expect you to have over a thousand ammo. My bad. Okay, what do we have here? Distilled waters, eels, water, uh, quality control, pure water to tank, contaminated water. Hmm. Is there anything in here that I could do? We could place the injection, but we're gonna save beforehand because if we get scolded... Then obviously we gotta watch out for that. Psychic water! Objective complete! Oh boy. We're infecting everyone on the station with psychic power! And now, when I drink water... Okay, it might take some time for it to go through. There we go! Holy shit, that is amazing! Okay. So, by imbuing the psychic power into the water, I can now get, like, a ton just from using the fountain. I thought it'd be like, you get one, <laughs> or two, or maybe five, but we just got, like, 30 to 40! What's my most extensive ability? Super thermal, here. Okay, put up the two traps... there. Yeah, you legitimately get 40 for at least a water fountain drink. I don't know what the other things are going to be like, but that's awesome. Can I shoot those out? Yeah, alright. It's purely proximity based. Got you. Uh, I'm not going to fucking... I can just jump around. I was willing to transform, but there's no point. What's in here? Monitoring station? Oh. <laughs> I was hoping I would do a lot of sneak damage there. Only 66. Huh. What do we got, Abigail? Abby, please make sure your crew takes extreme caution when handling the harvesting equipment. Recently, a bottle of Old Sardar bourbon, empty, was found in a batch of eels we, uh, we sent up, and I can only assume someone in our division accidentally dropped it in the tank. No one wants to chew glass when they bite into an Inagi roll. Or anything else, for that matter. <laughs> so please stop drinking alcohol and ruining the eels. It's gonna be bad. It's a PR problem. Stop drinking. Vodka. Ah, that's his password. Are you serious? How fucking drunk are you, Price Broadway? Emails. I care. Price, I've always had your back, but you're pushing things too far right now. You have to get a grip. People are noticing, Price. People higher up the chain than us. Quit avoiding Dr. Cole and just go talk to him. I believe you can get through this. Let me help. M. Okay, what about this? Working under the influence. Hello, Price. According to the information I've received, you pose a danger to yourself and those around you. I cannot overstate the seriousness of attempting to perform your duties on this station while under the influence of alcohol. I've written a prescription for you. You must take the medication, refrain from alcohol, and remain in crew quarters until we can meet. You are temporarily suspended from duty, and Chief Illusion has concurred. Oh, he might be in, uh... He might be in the crew quarters then. Whoa. Uh, what were these storing? And why are they broken now? That has me worried. 
Ooh. <laughs> per water treatment protocol, eel processing cannot occur until processing room terminal is unlocked from this terminal. You got it. I don't know what I can do with the eels, but when we find out, it'll be available. Will this hurt me? No. All right. Sometimes you have to live life on the edge and throw yourself into electricity to see if it'll hurt you. Static shot. All right. I'll be honest, I have no complete idea where I have or haven't been at the very tippy tops of this area. I think that's where we came in from. Is there anything else that I might be missing? Like a wrench? Or alcohol? Or mimic? Do I still have the scope thing for that? Hold on. Yeah, we have the detection of hidden mimics one. I don't remember if I unequipped it because the thought process in my head was also considering getting rid of the mimic. Uh, detection thing. We haven't really been needing that super desperately. Because usually we just run into the damn mimics anyways. So, ugh, that load of good it's been doing me. Hello, Kane. Thank you for the null wave transmitter. Didn't really help you out. Looks like you got crushed by something. Well, not something. Tanks. Ugh. Alright. So, can I access the tanks from down here now? We saw that there was a locked platform. Aha, here we go. Harvest eels. Ugh. Oh god, there's a body in there? What the fuck? God! Jesus, and a mimic. Well, I expected that. Uh, we found Price Broadway! Oh, fuck. Price Broadway, printed from the water treatment. From Abigail, eel treatment procedure. Price, eels do a pretty good job of eating up all the waste, but there's buildup that even the eels can't clean off. So we have to scrape the tank every month. First, run the harvesting utility to clear out any mature eels. The utility is on the tank workstation. When that's done, you can enter the tank. I'd also suggest shutting off the effluent flow valve, unless you're, ju you're just like taking a shower in your coworker's toilet water. Ugh. And please watch your step. Eels are mostly blind, but they have a nasty bite. And you don't want to get that wounded. Or you don't want to get wounded in that water. Trust me, Abigail. So what the fuck happened though? Did you go into it and get stuck? All fully grown eels have been harvested at this time. Remaining eels must develop further before harvesting. Okay. I, I thought we were just trying to get some more eel bits. Gain some psi powers here or there. But okay, we found Price Broadway. Did he get drunk and get stuck in the tank? Obviously he got... Uh, he was killed by a mimic. But when did that happen? <laughs> uh, anything... We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I kind of like the, the mental feedback loop of recycling stuff. There's something really satisfying about, like, going over to the recycler, dumping a bunch of items, and then having them, like, actually dumped out for something to pick up. It's obviously an incredibly mundane, tedious process, but it's lessened in its tedium because it's like, oh, look at all the things coming out. It's like presents coming down the chimney. So the power plant is a whole separate area. Well... We're not gonna be able to go anywhere else until we fix the power plant, so I guess we are going to head into there. But, before I go in, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of a break. I'm hungry. <laughs> and when we get back, we'll be going into the power plant. So be right back. <laughs> 